Hey folks, picked up another tractor the other day. One I've been after for quite a while and I finally found one. And there it is. Uh, this is a Farmall H with a wide front end. We was at a sale the other day. Went with Dad, he was after something and this was there. It wasn't listed on the brochure, but the whole thing runs good. I got lucky at the sale. They People brought it up there with no gas, they ended up dragging it through. Went cheap. I give 800 for this. Loader and all. But the loader, I'm going to take off of this. Because this old loader is broke and busted. I mean just everywhere. About every other weld on it has been broke, is broke, or been re-welded or something. Some back there. You can see it up there, and I mean it's just wore smooth out. And if you look here, I mean it's been busted and bowed in, and it's just, it ain't no good. I'm going to save like the forks, and I mean what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it off and scrap it basically. I'm not hauling it across the scales, but I mean, you know, you can cut stuff out in pieces for different little projects and it's still fine. I know some people's gonna freak over this, but trust me, there's no point in trying to fix that. I tried that a long time ago on an old piece of equipment that had a pipe style loader like this. And once they start, they just keep breaking and keep breaking and keep breaking and it's done. So I'm just gonna, like I said, you know, piece of pipe for a project or something or whatever you need or a lot of scrap metal in it to be reused and I'll definitely be saving the cylinders I mean I give like I said 800 for it the cylinders are worth that it's got two of these big ones they're pretty new I got one up here in the middle I'd say it was an old trip bucket at one time and they put this on so I'll be saving the cylinders the lines the valve body that's up here and reusing it but even back here, I mean, it's just been broke and rebroke and rewelded, and it's it's just they're no good when they get that way. I've tried to fix them before, and you're wasting your time. I mean, it's just they just keep breaking. But the tractor itself runs good, works good, and what I'm gonna try to do is find a three point for these H's. They do make aftermarket ones that you can bolt up. So we'll be reusing part of the hydraulic stuff on it. But it's a pretty good tractor. And I needed one more kind of medium sized one. And I really like these things. They run good. They're simple old tractors. And you just you can't hardly kill one of them. Plus I got a parts tractor. So that always helps. But it's a tricycle. I wasn't going to mess with it. And this one's a wide front end. Which I really like. Wanted. And it ain't been broke or busted anywhere they did weld the tops of these which was pretty common i guess they come loose or something but there ain't no brakes or nothing back here so it's in good shape it does run good i gotta get a flat fixed on it and one on the trailer i got when i come home so like i said i was pretty happy to get this i really was i've been after one of these for a while this gives me about two medium-sized tractors that I needed when we get going during hay season and odds and ends around here so and it was cheap it went worth the money I said I love it when they drag them through I bought a few like that over the years and reworked them and turned out good and this one even come with three sets of wheel weights so I am really excited about this and I just figured I'd show you you'll be seeing this thing quite a bit because I am not going to sell this tractor I, like I said, I really like these, and I have been after an H with a wide front for quite some time. But we'll get the loader off, and I'm going to put it back just factory with a draw bar for a while. I'm going to try to find a three-point, because then I'll give me my regular three-point and PTO to do whatever I want to do with it. And the loader is just, it's plum garbage. Like I said, I tried to fix one like that years ago, and it just kept re-breaking. And we're not even going to start that headache. We're just going to take it off and I'm going to save the lines and cylinders. So I got my money's worth there at least anyway in the valve body up there. So I hope everybody likes as much as I do. You're going to be seeing this and quite a few upcoming videos. Because like I said, I've been after one of these for a long time. And I'm it ain't for sale. I'm keeping it. So I hope everybody likes that. And 
much as I did, and I was pretty excited about it. So I guess I'll get the flats fixed and get it rolling and get it off here. So, all right, folks, I got it back, got the tire on it, drove it out here, got it out of the field where I could shut the gate so the cows didn't get out. But it it runs good and works good. The uh, it was out of gas, like I figured. So I'll let you guys see how good it runs right here uh, said quite well a little noisy but it runs real well good motor so just out of gas well I'll shut that back off or you can hear me Just out of gas. So that is, I guess, about the extent of it for now. I need to go through it and get the fluids checked and all that. But so I've been after a Formal H with a wide front end for quite some time. I'm super, super stoked to have this. So this will be a good little addition on my farm. I love the Internationals. The Internationals and Alice Chalmers I really like. So if you've been watching my channel, you know that. But these are good old tractors and parts are cheap. I can work on them, so. But the loader's definitely gonna come off. And I know there's gonna be keyboard warriors out there shunning me for that, but it's just broke and broke and broke. I mean, there, it's welded. Been broke there, broke there, broke over there. There's some more on the other side. Big stress cracks where it's about to break in two and just cobbled up all over where it's been broken and welded so many times. And it's just, I mean, just everywhere. And I'm afraid if you really used it and tried to really use it like it's supposed to be, and even up here, I mean, the bucket's been cave plumb out. I'm afraid it'd get somebody hurt if you really tried to use it like it's supposed to be used. And it's just not worth it, folks. It's not worth trying to do something and get somebody hurt, you know. If something breaks and comes down, it's, it's just not worth it. I tried to patch an old tube type loader like this a long time ago that was in the same shape just kept breaking kept breaking and it finally come off anyway so that's what's going to happen here i'm just going to take it off and put this back uh pretty well factory and try to find a three point you know they make aftermarket ones to put on the back and probably hook up the original hydraulic pump and just make it simple and clean and neat and nice looking but i am going to save the the cylinders and the valve bodies and the hoses there's always some kind of project going on out here that i can use them for and like i said that's what probably what's going to happen to this and i've got another parts tractor over there guy was hauling it motor's bad in it but it's got good you know tranny wheels tricycle front h right there and it was getting ready to get crushed i just picked it up for the parts i didn't give nothing for it but i've got a few spare parts for this that way so i mean but i wanted the wide front on one otherwise i'd went ahead and fix that one probably but i guess that's it so you'll see more videos of this we'll do some tinkering get the loader off and i said i'll try to find a three point somewhere for it and uh, go from there and start using it so i was happy so there you go i guess and that's it for this video so as always, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.